third day on the road in the Big Ten. Yeah, I, you know, t to some degree, I think you just have to go and do that. You know, I, I don't know how you necessarily can say prepare them for a road game when they've never had a road game before. Uh, you know, road game for Taiwan Mullen mm -hmm. was take the take the school bus, you know, what I mean, across town and, and go kick a team's tail. So. Uh, for him, this will be a very different experience as it will be for all of our freshmen. Um, obviously, when you're going into an environment like Michigan State, the excitement uh, that, that that stadium, that their uh, program has, and, and the things that for us to go play in that opportunity, I would imagine our guys would be ready to go. To me, the number one thing that we can do is focus on us, focus on our process, doing our job, and locking their eyes in. Because when everything else is going on, right, uh, uh, Big Ten game and the fan base and a travel game and I've never done this before. Can you lock in and focus on accomplishing your responsibility for one play? And then regardless of what happened on that one play, go back and do it again and again and again. And that'll be the challenge for, for a young defense for sure. Matt Tommy, Kevin. Coach, uh, I know he was recruited here before you got here, but Michael Zim was a guy that's played from day one. Um, you know, played a lot of football here and he's plus seasons. What have you seen from him as a defensive guy? What do you like about him as a, as a player? Well, Mike Zeeam, his athleticism is the first thing that strikes you, right? It, it, come, it, it jumps off the film and just turns into his explosiveness. Um, his ability off the edge has, has helped shape the edge of our defense. Um, obviously, teams have to, uh, there's some things that we're doing schematically to, to take advantage of his speed and tempo and kind of cut him loose a few times and let him go. We've seen the benefits of that already this season. Uh, where he has become a more complete player is um, keyed in and locked into his run responsibility uh, and then transitioning that to first and second down pass rush as well as uh, just letting him cut loose a few times because when you have dynamic athletes at the defensive end position, um, him being obviously one of, the, one of the most talented out of that group, I think you've got to schematically take advantage of that matchup. Tom McKim. Coach, I want you to be a bit able to look back to uh, last year's game with Michigan State and uh, what went right and, and what went wrong there in regards to preparing for this year. Did you, uh, are you seeing enough differences in them for it to not matter as much, or do you still see a lot there? No, it always matters because, you know, they're, you know, I guess on both sides of the ball, uh, new coordinators, myself and their offensive coordinators, so, but the systems are still the same, you know, and so they're going to go back and reflect on what worked for them. And we're going to go back and, and reflect on what worked for us. And then also understand that 2019 brings on new personnel, new scheme, new challenges. So, you know, there's always going to be that, hey, what worked in the past, what didn't work in the past, what do we have to fix, and yet who are we moving forward? Uh, and so that's what's fun about playing teams year after year when they have the same system and you do. There's, there's familiarity, and yet at the same time, there's always that question of what if, you know, what are they going to do differently than what we haven't seen in the past? And uh, to me, as a play caller, that's, you know, that's the joy of, of, of being a coordinator, you know. Kevin and John. Coach, I know uh, last week on the podium, you said enough is enough, and you guys followed up with pretty dominant defensive performance against the UConn. How, how do you carry that mindset over when you're facing a Big Ten opponent? Like, you know, might be a little ta more talented offensively, but uh, how do you get the defense to kind of lock in? Sure, it was, it, was, uh, it was a response, and it was the response that we needed um, from a young group of, of, of players that need to understand the urgency that you have to have. Uh, every single day at practice, every meeting, every walkthrough rep, um, and, and transitioning those reps onto a football field. So that was a big step for us defensively to go respond after, after the adversity that we had against ourselves. Uh, that can't just be one thing, right? Because you can respond and then to take a step back, right, doesn't, doesn't help us accomplish our goals moving forward. So. For me, I think one thing that I really learned and took away as you step back from the adversity of, of the Ohio State loss was as a young defense, we have to be very, very process driven. You know, we don't need to convince our guys you can do this and you, you can get this done and yada, yada. Just we're talented enough. Let's be about us. Let's be about our process. And if we can do those things, uh, we'll accomplish the goals that we've set out for ourselves this season. And I think we have a chance to uh, be a very successful defense doing that. John and Jeff. Uh, Cam Jones said on that one option play where he blew up the, the running back. And yeah. Zamba yeah, got the quarterback that you screamed go at him. Um, what did you see? Did I said what? That you screamed, told him to go. 
Yeah. I guess. So what did you see, and how much did this explosion just blow up? A plane? Well, I mean, I the, you know, I I don't sometimes I don't remember exactly what happens in a game and what doesn't, but I do know that we we kind of had a beat on them what they were going to run in that situation, so we knew that we wanted somebody to get vertical pressure on the dive, and have an answer if the quarterback kept the ball. Obviously, you know, those are those plays that you that you draw up. We've worked it. We we do those things quite a bit. That's one of our base staple answers, but. You know, when those things come free like that and you finish like that, you always you know, feel good a little bit as a coordinator and, and uh, the guys go on and execute in that play to that degree. You know, Mike Ziemba and Cam Jones were the two guys that made that play. Obviously, they're two of the most explosive players in our defense. So when we get vertical penetration in a third and fourth down scenario, we're, with bodies like that, we're going to be successful. Jeff and Matt. Um, Coach, you, got, you mentioned Cam Jones, you mentioned Taiwan Mullen, the young guys, freshmen, sophomores, why do you think we're the impact of those two classes and why they are just freshman sophomores? Well, I, I think we made a commitment, you know what I mean, to, to getting those guys. Uh, I mean, back in the springtime and fall and summer, fall camp, all those things, we've built everything around a, a young defense, knowing that we have a young defense and knowing that we've got to be able to execute at a high level with those young players. So you can't do too much, but you also can't be so predictable and simple that uh, you know, that, that you can get out schemed. And so for us, I think it's investing time, reps, energy, um, and building the scheme around a young defense. When you have the talent like Cam Jones, Tywan Mullen, the list goes on and on of young players that are really the core nucleus of our defense and, and hopefully will be for, for the next few years to come. Um, it's so important that you keep them in mind with everything that we do in our system. And uh, I think that we are accomplishing that to this point. Not to say that they're not going to make mistakes and not that adversity is going to happen. You know, I think Ohio State was a great example and reminder of focusing in on your keys when things don't always go right. And so, but those guys learned that lesson, you know what I mean? And hopefully they took it to heart and will carry that uh, moving forward, not just in this season, but the rest of their careers. Matt, the last question. Coach, I think you talked about it. Coach talked about the last day game. One of the new kind of issues was getting calls in and some guys could get lined up and all that. How tough is that, that you want to try to get the right call and keep playing up tempo, but also give you guys enough time to kind of get settled and do their job without thinking? I mean, did you guys change anything this past week? Or? I, I think uh, uh, not so much change anything. I think sometimes there's things that I need to be careful now knowing a little bit better about how our D line reacts to, to certain pressures and calls that I make. Um, there are certain things that I probably would not call or will not call moving forward uh, that I tried to get in against some pressure, you know what I mean? And, and even though those back end guys may have it and be ready for it, you know, it's always hardest with the defensive line. And so just keeping that in mind for myself, you know, some guys can do it, some guys can't, knowing what personnel is on the field and knowing, okay, at this point, I've got to get these calls in as opposed to uh, some other things that I probably tried to do. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you, guys.